Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. And because tomorrow's Thanksgiving, we're going to be doing something kind of special here today on Penzance Plays. This is an old one. So here we go. This one's for you, Brian. Welcome to the Age of the Great Guilds. messenger nymph I wonder why the elders want to see me I'd better get down to the village all right let's see here no I'm not restarting there we go so this is a loom this is the last leaf of autumn It's one of dawn. the original adventure games that I ever played. It has been a while. I remember portions of this, but not all of it. So I do remember that the things change depending on your playthrough. So I got a piece of paper and a pen here, so I can jot down a couple of things, but you'll see as we get going. <clears throat> Funnily enough, this uh, this game is actually uh, very big about the music in it. And you'll notice that there's actually no background music. Which is kind of funny. And the fire doesn't move either. <laughs> Am I going in here? No. Nope, not in here. There's a lot of memories in this one for me. But, if you know what you're doing, it actually does turn out to be a fairly short game. Welcome to the TARDIS tent. It's bigger on the inside. <coughs> There's the long tapestry. I don't remember it looking so old and frayed. The threads describe the creation of the world and the passing of the two shadows. Hmm, that's a window. We're going to look at this one now. Didn't I click on this? Here's there. more of the tapestry. The pattern shows the entire history of the weavers, back to the founding of the great guilds. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The 
last section tells about the decline of the guilds. There's a third shadow gathering. That's strange. The end is completely torn off. For spoilers. Okay, so the story here is a little obtuse just to kind of walk into it. There's Hetchel. And the elders don't look at all pleased with her. You have heard the findings of this council, Dame Hetchel? Have you anything to say in your own defense? My elders, my actions speak for themselves. This reckless defiance is intolerable. Any secret you share with Signa's son might be turned against us. His talent is awakening, and the power is very strong in him. We dare not desert him now. A stubborn old fool! Who are you to decide such things? Enough, Lachesis. Petrel, I am grieved to see your many years of service end in such disgrace. My destiny is yours to weave. Petrel, the fabric of your life has been woven by your own choices. Gaze once more upon the great loom. If you would know your ultimate destiny, for that destiny is now upon you. A swan's egg. What does it mean? Something is deeply wrong. That draft has never failed before. What is that noise? Outside! The guild is under attack! Who dares to desecrate the great loom of the weavers? This is the work of that demon boy! We should kill him while we still can! Your name will be cursed forever! Son of Signa! Loom child! Bobbin! My name? But I had nothing to do with this! Wait! Where are you going? No explanations, no goodbyes, and once again I'm left behind. It's heavier than it looks. Alright, <clears throat> so this is our only item in this game. Those are the same four threads spun by the elders. Pay attention to that. It'll become They're important. They're still though. echoing in the loom. Mm. I have to click slower, apparently. The egg it's trying to open. Oh, that's not right. It's almost like I knew what I was doing. Uh, oh, there's my boy. What's happening? The whole village has flown away without us. From the moment you came into this world, Bobbin, great and terrible things have been happening. The Elders hoped that your birth was the cause of it. Why would the Elders want to get rid of me? I'm such an awful weaver that they never even let me study with the others. They fear you, Bobbin. When the Swan arrived, they were already trying to weave the same draft on you that they had worked on me. The draft turned against them. It means only one thing, that the pattern is failing of its own accord. No! Can't it be stopped? Stop chaos? The only thing to do is embrace it and turn ourselves into creatures of shadow. Or plan our escape. Escape? To where? I don't know. But if we are to survive, we must find out where that flock has flown, and join them if we can. 
You've already found Atropos' distaff. Good. You won't be able to weave very much with it at first, but as you practice, its true power will be revealed to you. It's time to leave this island, Loon Child. Your destiny lies beyond, beyond the sunset, sunset across, across the, the sea. sea. Mother Hetchel, where are you going? Goodbye, Bobbin. I must follow the swan. Well, this is a fine mess. Everybody's gone and I still don't understand what's going on. Why did they keep <coughs> calling me Loon Child? Nobody's ever let me anywhere near a loom. Alright, so we've got our first, for lack of a better term, spell. It's E-C-E-D. So, one of the cruxes of this game is knowing what four notes combined with, you know, everything turns into an actual usable draft. Uh, draft in this case being spell. And knowing, too, that if you can play something one way to get a certain effect, you can play it in reverse to get the opposite effect. So we are going to get ourselves off this island with a little bit of creative forethought. It does take us a while to walk places. So yeah, get, get used to watching the little gray guy with the stick walk around. It happens a lot. He also gets flung into the air on more than one occasion, and it is funny. In case you missed it the first time... Birds eating the clam. Ugh. I actually don't know if I have to do that or not. It's kind of like a proof of concept puzzle, I guess. So we're going to go over here, because if I'm not mistaken, there's something over here I have to do. Into the woods. There's an owl in there. And it struck a note. Another owl. Come on. Didn't know there were so many owls in these woods. It's like this guy's just arrived on the island. It's weird. He's fast asleep. There's something over here. Something shiny. Ouch! Oh, scared a bunny. Oh, it ate the bunny. Huh. Destiny shall draw the lightning down from heaven. <laughs> Roll its thunder far across the sea to where I wait upon the shore of wonder on the day the sky is opened and the tree is split asunder. The day the sky is opened. I like the view from the cliff better. Let's have a little bit of fun.
Just as well. Some things are better left alone. Yet another thing to remember. It'll be important later. Whee! All the holes are full now. <laughs> That's what she said. No, no, no. <laughs> Uh, that's awful. I'm awful. Alright. So, we like the view from the cliff better. But we're not going to go to the cliff. No, 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 no. We have a thing to go learn. Or, at the very least, a thing to go use. So, okay. It's super dark in here. But, we just got a whole bunch of notes from the owls. It was... C, D, D, E. What do owls do? They see in the dark. Doo doo! What was that again? I missed it. D, 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 E. Okay, so that should be straw into gold. Because, you know, all you really need to make a whole bunch of money is some hay and a spinning wheel. And then to turn... Don't these people ever clean up after themselves? It's a big pile of money, and all he's worried about is cleaning up. Gotta love it. Let's do this. Aha! Victories is on mine. Maybe I should spin this back. Nah. We can leave this place a poor, desolate village. That's fine. Everybody left and left us here anyway. Screw them. Now you'd think you could go in there, but you can't. We can, however, go in here. Now then, this has something to teach us, I think. F E, I believe? Yeah, I think that was GFFE. Sorry, just it's still dripping. What, what a mess. mess. Oh, oh. Okay. So we can't actually play this one yet. Because, you know, we don't have... That thread's too high for Exactly. Me. Grass green. I hate that color. Yeah, well, here's what we do. We go C, D, C, D. Woohoo! We can turn stuff into green. The color changed. And that's how you get a new note. Doing stuff. Which may or may not matter. So we have an F, but we don't have G, so we still can't use whatever this was. But we can go... There. Looks much better in white. Yes. Yes, it does. Oh, it's this. That's the Book of Patterns. I already know what's in it. That is a mythology joke. The instruction manual that came with the original one was called the Book of Patterns. So the game assumed that you had read the instruction manual. Huh. Now the story is a little, like I was saying, like way back a while ago, the story's a little obtuse. Um, so basically, at the after mankind crawled out of 
caves and such, they built a great civilization, and then that collapsed, and that was what was called the first shadow. And then they built another great civilization, and then that kind of collapsed, and that was called the second shadow. And then the third civilization was based on what's called the great guilds, which is... There's a number of them, and we're going to encounter them, but this is basically the end of that particular age, and you'll it's see why. Dawn. So we had to open the sky, I believe, that little gravestone said, so we go E... E, e, D. This gives you a pretty good idea of just how powerful a weaver can be. Lightning motherfucker! Yeah, yeah. And the tree is torn asunder. Woohoo! Means we can go on our destiny quest thing now, right? Right? After we walk all the way back down there. Is it over? I'll admit, <coughs> the voice acting in this game is not the best. Um, but it does still hold a special place in my heart because there are some very memorable moments. One of which is coming up quite soon. Come on, keep walking, Bobbin. Actually, one of my favorite adventure games for voice acting is uh, Discworld, which, if I had a way of playing that, I'd be doing that right now instead, I think, just because I love that game so much. Huh. They cleaned it out. How nice. Looks like breakfast is over. Mm. Ah, sploosh. Get on the log, get on the log. And this is how we cross the ocean. And tornado. If you're wondering why some things that look like they should be in motion are static and some things that look like they should be static are in motion, I'm not sure what's going on about that. Huh? C I think it was CFCC. Yep, CFCC. Alright, well we've learned everything we need to know from the water spout. I think that's close enough. I remember... forcing him to go into the water spout like six or seven times in a row because the screaming made me laugh every time. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it was so funny. Alright. Let's go. Now, let's, let's try, try this, this again, again, shall we? I still say that. Huh? I still say that. Alright. So if the twister did CFCC, then we want to do C. And if it were that easy, I would live in a trailer park. Alright, we're starting to go f beyond the realm of what I remember in this game, so... We're going to take a short break. Ooh, ooh, we got a new note, we got a new note, we got a new note. Booyah! We have G, so now we can do whatever that flask thingy was. Go, f go us! Yeah, yeah. So we're going to take a short break, um, and we're going to be back 